What's up, YouTube? My name is Jason, and this is my take. And I'm back again, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the days. Yes, the end of year list of 2021. And today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about the top 10 R&B albums of the year. And listen, man, it, it was a great year. It was a great year as I look at my list and the albums that didn't make it. Another great year for R&B music, man. Like songs that and projects that just have you in the feels, man. Like, like that's what it's all about. Look, man, let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. At number 10, I got the new Division and Ty Dolla Sign album, Cheers to the Best Memories. Now, I got on this album pretty late after it, it, its release. I believe it was released in the summer. I didn't get to it until like maybe a month or so ago, but um, it, it did what it needed to do to make it onto this list. I will say from solo perspective, like I'm not the biggest on Division projects, even though their last project I really enjoyed um, and Ty Dolla Sign, he's that feature killer, man. You you gotta have Ty Dolla Sign on your on your record. Um, but from a solo perspective, I don't think I've really been blown away by anything that he's done. But these two together, man, the chemistry that these the, these two have, well, not two because division is two people, but the chemistry between them, man, like like I I wouldn't have expected it, but it really worked. Um, these songs are like really like sexy, really sensual. Um, we even get a Mac Miller verse on the final song, which I believe was recorded before he passed. But yes, like this album um, just had a different different mixtures of R&B, very smooth, very sexy, but also very upbeat, you know, as well. Um, Division and Ty Dolla Sign, I, I would like more of, of this type of collab from them um, because they work together perfectly. Number nine on my list is the new Her album back of my mind first off as a 25 year old i was shocked to find out that her was like what 23 22 i did not expect that um random side note i just had to throw that in there but her is back with another album and listen i will say even as i still listen to this album it got off to a little slow start in my opinion but man when it hit i can maybe like track five or six um, we we just took off, man. Her her did not look back, and this this is a twenty two twenty three song project. There's a lot of music, but on a lot of this music, her is in in that her bag, man. Like singing her heart out, man. Um, collabing with so many different people. Um, her is just one of those those generational talents. Honestly, um, we see every year how many Grammys she gets nominated for, and it's for a reason. Um, an instrumentalist, a singer, you know, she, she raps sometimes too, man. There's not a lot that she can't do, honestly. And it, it, even though I really don't like long projects, this, this project is one that kept my attention all the way through, one that I return back to a lot. Um, and, you know, her, man, what, what more can I say? Number eight on my list is the new Jasmine Sullivan album, Hotels. And man, this is a project that everyone's been talking about this year and you know it's no secret why jasmine sullivan really was vulnerable um really let it out and i just love the perspectives that she was providing and um she was providing through other people on those interludes where people were kind of telling their stories about you know as women like you know being independent and proud of your bodies being sexually free talking about heartbreak talking about infidelity um, it, it was it was short, but it was it, it did so much. The, those projects that do a lot, even though it seems like a little, you know, we think about a lot of our stuff from, you know, the 2000s, um, you know, early 2010s. But, you know, she came back with a vengeance on this one, man. And, you know, I, I definitely know that she has a full like full full length album like coming and I'm excited to see what's going on with that, man, because she she dropped one of the, the most memorable projects of this year by far. Number seven on my list is the new Summer Walker album, Still Over It. You get more toxic tales from this Summer Walker over here. And Summer Walker, man, this is just like we, we, we see her in the news, on pop culture news for a lot of different things. But 
when you scratch all of that, man, what she does musically, like a lot of people don't do in the R&B space. She's so talented. She, she's a great storyteller. She she expresses herself and um, really just dives into that heartbreak, those toxic relationships. I just can't get enough of it, man. Like I really can't. Um, I don't want to say that I want her to keep having these situations, um, but I like don't not want her to at the same time. Like she she just provides perspective that that's very relatable for a lot of people as well. And I love that she um, can can be that for a lot of people. Number six on my list is the new Snow Allegra album, Temporary Highs in the Violent Skies. Snow Allegra is one of my favorite R&B artists. She just has that vibe, man. On her on her last album, such a melancholy like dark album, but it was you know, so beautiful, so smooth at the same time. But this new album over here was a little different, um, a little more colorful, uh, a little more elements of pop in here. We got Tyler, the creator that produced some more upbeat records. We got Pharrell production. Um, it was a little bit of a turn compared to our last project. And I saw, um, you know, when this album first came out that a lot of people didn't really like that. I personally very much enjoyed it. Um, because, you know, Snow is kind of venturing out more into that type of production. And, you know, that temporary high part, I think that, you know, is why you had some of these sounds. Um, it's not always dark for Snow. She has those high moments while temporary and while eventually it does, you know, go back to that place, which we heard, you know, as we, you know, got deeper into the album. Snow, like, Snow's no one-trick pony in the, when it comes to the sound side of things. Like, she can really um, do a lot in different spaces and different sounds. And, you know, I'm glad I was able to experience that on this project because she came through once again with another amazing project. Number five on the list is the new Nao album, And Then Life Was Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I love Nao's voice so much. So angelic. Um, just so heavenly, man. You guys got to check this project out if you haven't. And check out Saturn 2 by Nail when when you have the chance. Um, you don't you don't hear voices like this one. And this album like was was beautiful. I don't want to use <laughs> the name and the title, but um, a lot of this album and talking about very difficult situations, very dark times. Um, Nail used that to say that there's still that beauty in it. There's a lot we can learn from it, and there's a lot of light ahead for us. And that that's just that was needed in, in this time, honestly. I'm such a big fan of her, and I've only heard two albums, but she's somebody who I can't get enough of. And I, I feel like you guys should definitely give this album a shot if you haven't, man. I promise you won't be disappointed. Number four on my list is the new Shanae Harnett album, Ready Is Always Too Late. Man, oh man, am I glad I stumbled upon this woman right here, man. This album is so good. And I really love where she went with this Ready Is Always Too Late, you know, theme and, and talking about, you know, finding yourself and being ready for love and, and, and wanting to explore and do things that, you know, when you're, when I'm ready, you know, you're not ready, you know, my person or significant other. I thought that was really dope, but beyond, you know, the themes and the topics on this album, um, Shanae Harnett has such a beautiful voice. The production on this album was absolutely amazing. Get different vibes, like a lot more hip hop sounding R&B tracks, more smooth, like love ballads, like piano driven. Um, this woman, man, like, I really don't even remember how I found her, but I'm so glad I did. You guys definitely need to check this album out if you haven't as well. Um, Shanae Harnett, beautiful artist, man. All right, guys, we were in the top three, and this is where it got extremely difficult for me. But at number three is the new Silk Sonic album, An Evening with Silk Sonic. Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack. They teased us with Leave the Door Open and Disappeared, but we were finally able to get an album out of these guys. And on those nine tracks, um, it's, it's nearly perfection. The chemistry between Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack um, just can't be denied. It's so clear. As I listen more to this project, I wonder if it's like kind of a parody of the 70s, like soul and funk that they were pulling a lot of influences from. 
Um, but whether it is or not, man, these two did their thing. Anderson Pack, you know, bringing that humor, but also his rapping and singing. And Bruno Mars just showing why he's just one of the most talented, you know, singers in the game, man. I don't know if we'll ever get, you know, this collab again, but um, this this was a moment to, to really remember in the history books. Um, these guys provided amazing music. Bootsy Collins narrating this whole thing. Thundercat on the bass with some of these songs like this this is a moment that we're never gonna forget. And you know, I'm so appreciative to have experienced what Bruno Mars and Anderson Pat gave us. Alright guys, at number two, I got the new Cleo Soul album, Mother. Now look, I know what you're thinking. Jason, didn't you give this album a 10 out of 10? Yes, I did. And it's not number one on my list. And honestly, the number one album on my list, I can't sit here and say that that's a 10 out of 10. But, you know, for me, these lists, it is about replay value and what I'm really returning to. And while I do return to Cleo Soul's album so much, because like I said, it is perfect. Um, my number one that we'll get into is I, I, I listen to that way more like that. That's, you know, that's kind of how I structure the list is about replay value as well. But back to Cleo Soul, man, mother. Cleo Soul just had a child, and this album, she just discusses motherhood. She talks about her experience as a child and her mother and her come up, but now being a mother um, and having these experiences of just seeing the beauty in it, seeing the pain and the struggle in it, you know, discussing postpartum and discussing, you know, not feeling like, you know, maybe her baby loves her at times, um, to just talking about the future, seeing this child just grow and learn. And, you know, just being able to experience that and, and be a part of it and, you know, showing them what real love is. And um, it was it was just amazing, man. Like Cleo Soul just tapped into something different on this one that I hadn't heard on previous projects. It was it was a lot of emotion. man. It was an emotional project. And, you know, I'm glad that I got to it and, and was able to experience it. You guys should definitely check this out. And guys, my number one R&B album of 2021 is the new Children of Zeus album, Balance. Children of Zeus is a group out of Manchester in the UK that consists of two guys, Tyler Daly, who's the singer, and Connie Khan, the rapper of the group. Um, these two are like perfect together. Um, you know, Tyler Daly, the singer, he has more of a smooth voice, and Connie Khan has a very deep, like voice, a very, very deep rapping voice. And, you know, it comes together perfectly with these two. And over a more contemporary, modern type of R&B album um, that has a lot of hip hop influence in it, these two just know how to create a vibe, man. They, they discuss love. They discuss, as the title of the album, just the balance of, of life and music and, and just um, this life. You know, to their dreams of being in California and, and, and making music and just growing. Um, these, these guys just dive into it, man. And how they blend R&B and hip hop is just such a groove. Um, it'll have your head bopping a lot. And yeah, man, what these two guys do together, but also individually, you know, Tyler singing is, is some of the best that I've heard in a very long time. You know, like I, I do, I do very much do enjoy like um, music from the UK. Um, and Connie Khan's rapping that, that has his accent on it, it's just like, it sounds so good. This album was, 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 was one that, you know, I was listening to, like, I found myself listening to this album or songs off this album, like, every day after I got into it. Balance, the title track, was um, probably my song of the year, honestly. So if you guys are, are into that more contemporary R&B that, that blends hip-hop, like, Please, you gotta you gotta check this one out. I promise you, um, these guys are great. Um, I gotta dive into their older you know projects and their discography as well. So, Children of Zeus Balance is my number one R and B album of 2021. So, what were you guys' thoughts on my list? What were your favorite R and B albums of 2021? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow we're gonna end things off with our rap list. I'm very excited to, to share that with you guys. So please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm Jason. This has been my take.
and I'll see you next time.